Hey YouTube, it's me, Nola, sitting in front of the heater again. She loves sitting in front of my little space heater. She has a little sweater on too. I wish y'all could see it. It's on my Instagram and on my Snap story. You can see her with her little sweater. This is going to be a sort of get ready with me. I already have on my foundation. I'm trying out a new foundation. This is my second day wearing it. It is the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage 24 Hour Wear Foundation. I have the shade Mocha. I believe there's one shade deeper than this. And Mocha is actually a perfect skin tone match for me. It actually looks really, really, really good in person. So we're just going to finish up the face because I'm going to be trying out a few new products today. So the first new product, other than this, this is still new, but I wore it yesterday. Um, so far yesterday, it lasted for seven hours before I feel like I really needed to touch up. So that's pretty good. Seven hours before you need to touch up. That's like basically the whole day almost. Um, it is prone to creasing in my forehead lines. I don't know if y'all can see those tiny little creases. So we're going to go ahead and set this using a powder I've never, ever, ever used before. That I picked up picked up at Sephora with my $20 off coupon. $20, $25. I think it was $20 off coupon. And that would be the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder. This is one of their little deluxe sizes. I think it was like $25, $23, 20 somewhere between $20 and $25. It looks just like the big one, just small. It comes in a nice fancy little red box. And it's at their Beauty To Go at Sephora. You can find it in the Beauty To Go section. I just totally dropped my sponge on the floor. Now there's dog hair on it. I'm just going to blow that off. So yeah, I'm going to apply that using this sponge. Again, I got the shade Translucent. So let's open this up. I'm excited to try this powder out since so many people love it. I'm really interested in it, seeing how it controls my oil throughout the day. And seeing if it's better than my Cody Airspun or my Maybelline powders. Hey, Nola. Hey, booty. Hey, booty girl. She just jumped on the bed. So I'm putting it in the cap. Has a sifter. I'm over here making a song. All right, I got a little bit in here. Um, so far, it looks interesting. Put some on the sponge. I'm going to use a sponge to press it into my skin. Oh, that goes into the skin really nice. That really melts into your skin. Okay, okay. We'll go in here and set my eyelid as well. Probably should have blended out the creasing first. Yeah, so far I'm really liking the way this goes into the skin. I feel like it really is um, translucent. Yeah, and so far it has a really nice finish. I have to get my other mirror so I can look a little closer, but from what I can see in my big mirror and in the computer, yeah, this is, this is, I can tell the quality difference. So, I'm going to do the other eye. And it totally feels completely weightless as well. Yeah, it just melts into your skin. Bruh, I like that a lot. This time I'm actually going to blend out the lid before I set it with powder. Oh, wow. That's so nice. This is really nice. Wow, I can actually like tell a difference. It's crazy. Compared to like my Cody Airspun. Taking some, we're gonna go onto the forehead so that my forehead doesn't crease up. And I'm just 
pressing this into the skin, major key. Okay, still got a little bit more left in here. I'm gonna set on the corner of my mouth. I only crease on this little corner of my mouth. That's where I actually get like creasing that bothers me on a daily basis. Like just the real edge of my mouth. Right there, the creases. Yeah, I can tell a difference with this powder immediately. Yeah, I can see it right off the bat, like the difference. I'm gonna go ahead and continue to work on setting my face. And I'm just pressing it in. You see how that just melts into my skin though? Like other powders don't melt into my skin like this that I use. I feel like they kind of sit on top of my skin, which is why I get that terrible ghostly cast that y'all see in my videos sometimes. I feel like with this, it melts right in. Let's do the bridge of the nose. And I'm not even using my mirror to see close up. I'm looking about two and a half to three feet away in my uh, big bathroom mirror. That is not a straight line at all. That's okay though. Oh yeah, it's so smooth. We're gonna put this all over my face. I also like how this applies with the sponge a lot. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more on my cheek area right here. Just trying to cover the areas where I have larger pores and I'm going to make sure that I get my brows as well. I'll kind of go over that area again. And over the forehead. Also going to do the chin. And again, I'm pressing this into my skin with a sponge. Okay. Yeah, I really like the way this looks. I'm just trying to use up whatever's in my cap. There's like a tiny bit left. All right, we're going to set the rest of my face with a little bit of my, I don't know what I want to use yet. What powders do I have over here? Just putting the rest back into the container. Yeah, so far I'm very impressed. It also comes with a little puff. I didn't use the little puff. Let me see in my other mirror. Yeah, it gives a very smooth finish to the skin. But now that I'm looking a little bit closer, I feel like it's not as smooth as the Maybelline powder. Like, I don't know. That could be because I wore my foundation without a primer. I don't know. Still very smooth. I'm not mad at it. We're going to go with a little bit of my... Let's go with the LA Girl Pro Face High Definition Matte Press Powder. You guys know how much I love this powder. I haven't used it in a long time. I'm going to use my e.l.f. Flat Top Brush to apply this to the perimeters of my face to set my foundation. Even more. I have hit pan on so many of these. I really need to just like use them up. I really do enjoy this powder though. I bought like a whole set of six of them because I love this powder so much. 
I'm just pressing it into my skin, patting it in. This powder really does help with oil control and keeping the skin nice and matte. And it also has a very nice flawless finish. I need to take a sip of my throat coat lemon echinacea tea so you guys can hear my voice that I'm a little congested. But let me tell you what I did yesterday. Yesterday, I wanted to try out this Vietnamese restaurant. I've driven, driven? Yeah, I've driven past it several times. And I've always wondered about it. And they advertise that they have pho, spelled F, or F, spelled P-H-O. A lot of people say pho, but I'm pretty sure it's pronounced pho. And I really love pho. Jackie, my best friend, who's originally from California, where there are a bunch of pho places, like every corner has a pho place. She's one who introduced me to Vietnamese food and to pho specifically. And I loved it when we went. We used to go to this place in um, Rock Hill. They had a pho place. I can't remember what it was called. But they have one in Rock Hill, where I went to college. And so I was like, yeah, let me try this place out. Plus, I really enjoy like spring rolls and they make them like the traditional side side, the traditional style um, with that. I don't know if it's rice paper, but like the clear paper, it's like see through and you dip it in hot water. If you watch Kim Tai's video, she just went to a Vietnamese restaurant where she makes it herself. Like they give you all the stuff to make it yourself as you're eating. But here they have it made for you, but they put the noodles, they put the lettuce, shrimp, and it had um, either pork or beef in there. Not sure if it was pork or beef it looked more like beef than pork but I don't know the way they season stuff it could have been pork you never know I don't know but it is so good I have that's what I'm gonna eat for lunch I got one to go to eat for lunch today at school all right so I'm just taking this powder I'm just going over everywhere lightly just to make sure that everything is nice and set my first impression of the Laura Mercy about those that I like it. But yeah, that food was so good. I also got a um, Perry's Hard Cider, which is from California. Their pear cider. So good. That's like the best cider I've had. And it just went so well. I had chicken pho. Really, really good. Okay, yeah, I can see. Yeah, it's looking a little bit more smooth now that I added that powder on top. All right. We're going to be using um, a new eyeshadow palette. I've done a couple looks with it. Um, so far, I'm really loving it. I'm not mad at that palette at all. But let's move on to the brows real quick. I'm running slightly behind. It's 5.46 a.m., but I'm not too worried about it. Oh, did this pencil just fall out? Yep, I think. Where did it go? I can't even see. I probably should start wearing my glasses. I really can't even see. So this pencil, the the actual pencil just fell out. I don't know where it went. It's black. I don't want to step on it and smudge it all over my carpet. So this one is um, tot. Das ist tot. That's, that is dead. German. So I have to bust out another one. Good thing I have like four or five backups. So this is what it looks like in the packaging. I've showed this so many times before. Wet and wild retractable eyeliner pencil, 12 hour wear. I have the shade black in this one. I prefer black brown or blackest brown, but I haven't been able to find it. Um, it's also waterproof, has a built-in smudger, and is retractable. It works really great for the brows. This foundation, um, the Maybelline Superstay, is really a true full coverage, but it has a very natural finish to it. It kind of reminds me of the Estee Lauder double wear in a way. But I feel like it's um, not as... Uh, Estee Lauder double wear isn't really heavy, but it looks it looks more natural than Estee Lauder double wear, but that's the foundation it reminds me of. Hmm. So let's go in and get these brows together so 
So, um, there's been so many older ladies that have been coming into Ulta recently, and they have the most beautiful silver gray hair. It is so pretty. I've been complimenting all of them, like, your hair is gorgeous. Like, it is so pretty. And, like, they just feel like, you can tell, like, they feel slightly insecure about it. But, like, no, you're gorgeous. Your hair is gorgeous. You're beautiful. Like, so pretty. Like, they're just so pretty. And then there is this other lady that came in. And, like, she looked like she should have been, like, on the cover of a magazine. I don't know what for. You know, she's an older lady. But, like, her hair was, like, the perfect um, perfect amount of, like, windblownness. And, like, she was taken aback when I gave her that compliment. I was like, yeah, a hair commercial or something or a hair magazine. It was, just, like, so perfect. I was like, y'all older ladies are on point today. One thing I can say is that seeing these older women come in and get their like get buy makeup and stuff, it um it kind of like gives me something to look forward to because these women are still like taking care of their appearance even though they're in their fifties and sixties and they still care and they're still having fun with it you know. That makes me happy. Yeah, this color is a lot more natural. Black is so much more natural than intense black. And when you first get this pencil, like when it's brand new, it looks even more like real hairs because it's a little bit more stiff. So it's a little bit harder to get the color payoff. So therefore it looks more natural because um, it's like you're making smaller strokes. I don't know how to describe it. It just looks more natural when you first get it. Um, I feel like it's more comparable to higher end pencils. when you first get it. And then it can kind of start to look a little harsh because it warms up and it's a little softer. So the color goes on a little bit more intense as time goes by. But I mean, you can see the difference between this brow and that brow. Yeah, I love this pencil. But yeah, it was a good weekend. I mean, I was super tired because we had Saturday school. So, and I worked late Friday night. I've been working late and this weekend I'm working late Friday and Saturday. I'm working till 1130, five to 1130. I'm closing. Um, I don't mind it though. Um, it's just, I'm, I know I'm going to be really tired, like two, six and a half hour shifts back to back at night, Ugh. especially Friday after school. I'm going to be dead when I get home. But, um, yeah, wait, what was I going to say? Oh, it was a good weekend, though. So Saturday we had school in the morning. I did that. I helped out in a kindergarten and a preschool class because the classified staff members were off work. So they don't go over their hours and pay, you know. So they take us special subject area teachers and make us do their job while they're gone. But I had fun. I really love kindergarten. That's like one of my favorite grades to teach. They're so cute and they just really want to make you happy. And they're just hilarious. They're just funny little people. It's so like, uh, it just it just warms my heart working with kindergarten. And I also love first grade. They just make my heart smile. Um, so I did that and then after school I decided, let me use this coupon for $20 off that I got at Sephora. But Sephora is literally 30 minutes away from my house and it's an hour away from my school so I said let me make this journey down to Savannah Georgia and I did went to the mall went to Sephora and I was only planning to like go to Sephora and JCPenney to get the stuff that I needed I also did this thing we have this thing called the angel tree we do at school where every teacher takes one to three names well numbers off of the angel tree and it's basically our um, lowest of the low income children they're the ones whose numbers are on the tree and you buy them a couple of uniforms, a pair of shoes if you can, and then one or two toys that are $20 of value or less each. So 
So I chose a fifth grade girl. It tells you like what grade they're in and stuff and their class, but just didn't tell you their name. So I chose this fifth grade girl um, because we wear about the same size clothing. So I know, like I knew what to get her, what size stuff. And I went to JCPenney because I have a card there and they were having a great sale. And so I got her like the JCPenney Arizona brand everything. Arizona brand, pair of nice shoes. Um, one pair of khaki pants, one pair of navy, and then a white and a navy school uniform top. All Arizona brand. Because it's very good quality and that's what I would wear to um, work for band and when I worked at Jersey Bikes. It's good quality stuff that should last a long time. And instead of getting like girls, I went to the junior section because she wears a size 16 girls, which is almost the exact same size as a 5 and junior. So I got her 5 and juniors. It's a little bit bigger. I like compared. It's a little bit bigger, but it's going to give her a little bit of room to grow and she can still wear it in middle school since they have the same uniform all throughout all 12 grades in my district. Same school uniform. So yeah. The shoes are really cute I got her. I'm like, I'm really impressed. I was like, I'm so glad I found those shoes because they're cute. And then um, the toys that she wanted weren't really toys because, you know, she's in fifth grade. She wanted an adult slash teen coloring book. And I found the most beautiful one at Barnes & Noble's. And it was not super expensive. It was $16 and it's a hardback. And it's also kind of like a journal. And it's for anti-stress. Um, it's like made for like de-stressing. And it is it's so beautiful. I'm like so excited to give it to her and she went in color pencils so I got her a pack of color pencils. I'm really excited for her to like open it because it is so beautiful. She also wants some headbands. I'm considering whether or not I'm going to get some headbands but I already spent $115 on this which is a lot you know. I was thinking that's actually about the same amount of money I've spent on my mom and my sister's gifts as well. But I wanted to make it quality, you know, because they deserve it. My kids deserve it. And it's not their fault that their family can't afford it. Yo, I am dropping stuff left and right, and I literally cannot see. I can't see. This is a problem. I need to go to the eye doctor again, because this is getting a little ridiculous. My vision hasn't been like this intensely bad where I'm can't see stuff that I drop like I'm only 25 I can't find the cap to this where did I put the cap to this let me take the one I threw away and use that cap oh I can't find that cap either where did I put the cap oh here's one cap yeah I'll just use the older cap because I don't know where I put the cap for this one I'll probably find it when I least expect it doesn't even fit on there that's okay all right, my brows are done. I picked up some more Murad skincare last night, um, and I can see a difference overnight. Like within one day, I can tell a difference in my skin, the texture, um, and the acne breakout I was having on this side. Y'all seen it? You can see now that you can barely even tell. Now this side wants to break out. All right, let's continue with the makeup. I'm getting off track. Oh my gosh, it's 5:56. I need to get moving. I'm just so tired because I closed last night and I didn't get home till what, 11 or 10. I got home at 10, yeah, because I worked until 9.30. Let's go in and highlight. I'm going to use my... Becca Apray Ski Glow Eyelights Palette. Y'all know how much I love this because there's so many different shades in. I'm going to use the shade. I'll use Topaz. It's a nice golden shade. We'll be golden today. And I'm going to use that brush that I've been loving for highlighting from the It's My Ray Ray BH Cosmetics collab. The number five, this bigger brush, it is great for highlighting. So I'm going to take this and Highlight my cheekbones. I'm doing a more subtle highlight because I've been breaking out where I don't put as much on. I've been really liking that. See that weird line? I feel like I get a strange line sometimes in my highlight.
And I feel like you have more control over the placement with this brush as well. I don't have duty today, praise God, because it is now below freezing in the mornings. Hello, true fall weather, late fall weather. Hit us like a wrecking ball down here in South Carolina, almost to Georgia. Like I literally live eight miles from the Georgia border. Yeah, literally hit us like a wrecking ball. Was not ready. I bought a coat this weekend. So when I went to the mall, I got everything for my student. And then I also like splurged a little bit on myself. I don't really ever go shopping and I've never gone on a shopping trip in a mall alone in a, a long time in like years without having like needing anything like just because just because I had the money, you know, haven't done that ever. So it was really weird. I realized that I'm very directionally challenged and it gives me a little bit of anxiety just being around all those people and like waiting in the extremely long lines because it's holiday season. Um, yeah, and like not, I don't know that mall very well, so I was getting lost a little bit. I was not sure where to go. I had to ask several people for directions. Also buying clothes for a child was also like a little, caused me like a little bit of anxiety. Like it was slightly overwhelming. Cause it's like I'm buying clothes for someone else. I'm not gonna like this. It's gonna fit them. Like they're not here. I don't have children. Like I don't do this. Like I just felt very like overwhelmed. I was asking moms for their opinion, like what they thought. It was really funny. I was like, yo, I don't like this feeling, like having to buy stuff for small humans. But she's not even small. She's the same size as me. But like, just buy stuff for kids, like. I don't like this. I just didn't feel good. Like, I'm glad I don't have children at this point in my life. I'm gonna highlight the nose as well. Same brush, same highlighter, topaz. Super pretty. Tomorrow I get to go work at McDonald's to help raise money for kindergarten to get a playground. They don't have a playground. And you know, playgrounds are expensive because there's so many laws and regulations and stuff about how they can, how they have to be built and like you have to pay special people to like design it and install it. So it's expensive. So I want to help contribute by helping by working at McDonald's tomorrow and a whole bunch of teachers are working and it helps we get a certain percentage of their proceeds to help go towards raising the money. That was really hard for me to say. I am, can you tell I'm tired? It's about to be an interesting day at school. That's all I got to say. Um, but I have snacks. I have my spring roll. I'm really excited to eat that spring roll. I'll take a picture of it. It looks beautiful. It's in my car right now because it's cold enough. For, my car is like a refrigerator. So I just left it in the car overnight. I'm going to kind of set my brows using an older mascara. This is an old Black Radiance mascara. This is also going to make them just a little bit darker from any highlight that may have gotten on them that made them look a little bit lighter, especially the tail. Brows are done. Let's move on to the eyes. I'm going to do something super simple but fun. With my eyes, which means I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to wear. But I have a feeling I'm going to wear that sweater that's over there. And some black pants. That's how it was last week. I wore the same pants like four, five days in a row. Three, four, five days in a row. It was six days school week. And I'm about to be just like that this week. That might be my new thing. Which is funny because that's how my mentor dressed when I was with my elementary mentor. She wore the same black pants every day. And when they were allowed to wear jeans, she would wear like the same version of the black pants in jean form. And then a long sleeve shirt every day. Like super simple. And I've been loving that lately. Like just wearing black pants. They're super comfortable. They're high waisted Fashion Nova jeans. Because um, when I bend over, I don't have to worry about my butt crack showing. They're very comfortable, very stretchy. Like 
I just bought two more pairs and so I have three pairs in black and I love them they're amazing I'm gonna wear those all week that's the kind of week I'm having I might try and get cute later on this week when I come to life since I don't work at Ulta again until Friday but today the girl is feeling low-key zombie-ish so let's um wake up this makeup <laughs> wake up with some makeup <laughs> highlight just popping loving the way it's looking so we're going into the Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette. I love this palette. It's beautiful. I'm also going to get the Clover palette from Too Faced whenever it comes back in stock at my local Ulta because that one is also very beautiful. Um, yeah. Like I need newer palettes. I don't. It smells like chocolate. It's made with real cocoa powder and gold. We're going to go in with the shade Hala for a dollar. It's like a green kind of shade. I'm going to go ahead and put that all over my lid and my finger. Oh, let me show it to you again so you can really see it. Hollow for a dollar. It's down here. It's like a um, more olive green shade. Yes, it is so freaking pretty. I cannot wait to use the um, greens in the 39A palette as well. I still haven't touched those. But you guys know when I'm feeling um, tired or like if I need like an extra boost of something to make me feel happy throughout the day I like to wear my favorite colors and my favorite color is green purple and blue I also like to look at pictures of my dog throughout the day to re-energize myself and I'm blending this with my finger I'm blending it out with my finger all over the lid and into the crease a little bit kind of diffusing it into the crease This shade is absolutely stunning. It has gold glitter in it. There's like zero fallout, by the way, as well. I'm noticing I'm not getting any fallout, which is great. I'm also applying this with my finger, which is great. It blends really easy with your finger. You all see that? Ah, uh, I'm loving it. This shade was like was one of the shades that really made me want to get this palette. At first, I wasn't planning on it, but then I was swatching it. I saw that it had two greens. I was like... Yo, let me get this. And I'm going, uh, like I said, super simple with this look. We're not going to do any transition shade or anything. I'm just fading it up into the crease and diffusing it out. Don't even need a brush for this eye look. I didn't even use a brush at all for this makeup look. Oh, I did it for my powder. I was like, did I? Only for the powder. But not even for my foundation. Oh, and my highlighter. Like I said, I'm just blending this into the crease, like diffusing it out, blowing it out with my finger. Because we're not doing a transition shade. Like this is its own lid and transition shade. You just gotta blend it. With your finger. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Y'all can't even really see the full effect on camera. But I'm telling you, in person, my eyes are popping. Boo, you can't tell me nothing today. Holla for a dollar. Hey, holla for a dollar. Loving this shade. Yeah, it's like a bronzy olive green with gold glitter. All right, that's what it looks like on my finger. Just gonna wipe my finger off on my bathrobe. And we're gonna also put this on the lower lash line. Why not? Let's keep it simple, simple. I'm gonna use my favorite little brush from Coastal Scents. It's 608. Oh, I forgot about my hair. Hopefully it looks fine. 
I did a twist out. I untwisted all my twists yesterday. It'll be a week tomorrow that I've had my hair. It's still soft and moisturized. So I was like, let me untwist it yesterday for some fun. Let me wear it out. And I got so many compliments. Everyone at work loves when I wear my hair out. They love how big it is, how curly it is, how fluffy it is. I guess I'll wear it out again today. And then tomorrow I'll probably wear it up in a puff. Because I'll be working at McDonald's. And then Wednesday we're going to wash, deep condition, and retwist or braid. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. See how tired I am. Some other protective style for five straight days. I'm also putting this in the inner corner just a little bit. So that's what it looks like blended on the lower lash line as well. With the same brush, I'm going to take the shade Chocolate Gold. I don't think I've used it yet. Chocolate Gold right there. We're going to use that in the inner corners to highlight the inner corners. Or we could use Gold Dipped. Let's, never mind. We're going to use Gold Dipped, which is right next to Hollow for a Dollar down here. It's like a champagne gold. Let's put that in the inner corner using the same brush. I'm laying it on top just to give it a little pop. If you wanted to make this super holiday, you could do a red lip with it. I'm going to be doing a nude brown lip. Yes. I feel like everything is well blended. Everything's looking good. So we only used two eyeshadows, really just one, and then highlighted the inner corners for this look. Super simple, but still fun. This glitter over here in the inner corner is kind of coming down a little bit too low. Over here. That's okay though. All right. So the only thing left for the eyes is mascara. I don't know what mascara I'm gonna use yet. I don't think I need to open another one yet. We'll just do L'Oreal Carbon Black because it's fast, easy, reliable. Oh, 6-11, I need to go. I don't have duty, so it's not really super important that I get to school right before 7. But they're probably going to have coffee. They usually have coffee on Mondays after the six-day school week. To, like, help the teachers get some liquid sunshine and strength for the day. And I want to be able to get a cup of coffee. Which reminds me, I still need to get K-Cups and pretzels. K-Cups for our little snack um, coffee station that we have. The PE teachers and I. And then pretzels for the snack station. But really specifically for Mr. Galitz because I've been eating all his pretzels. He has these peanut butter filled pretzel nugget things that are so good. And I literally like ate a third of his container. So I was like, I'm going to get you another one. I'm going to give it to you Monday. But of course... I don't have it for him because I ran out of time in between uh, going to Saigon Cafe. I had to wait for a little bit because it was very busy and then I was taking my time to eat and then I had to finish my drink because I got that cider and 12 ounces is a lot for me to drink. I don't really drink a lot. It's kind of bad. Like I don't drink a lot of anything, water or anything. I kind of dehydrate myself because I had lots of bladder issues growing up and like using the bathroom I always had to go at the most inconvenient times and it was like a hindrance to my family and stuff so I like just stopped drinking so I wouldn't even have to worry about peeing so that I wouldn't have to go at the, the wrong time or have to go on the side of the road and all the other things that have happened to me
I'm applying this mascara to upper and lower lashes. We're going to come back and do another coat after we put on the lipstick to really just make these lashes nice and full of voluminized. I love the eye look. So easy, so simple. All right, for lips, we're going to go on with this lipstick from Becca in the shade Milk Chocolate. That's what the box looks like. Becca. It's actually their Lush Lip Color Bomb. I did some pineapples. Their Lush Lip Color Bomb in the shade Milk Chocolate. It's kind of fluffing my hair while we're here. Yeah, it looks like it'll be fine to wear down again today. It smells so good. I have a little bit of makeup around my edges, but I can fix that real easy, but I'm not going to. It's not that serious to me. All right, my hair is done. Um, yeah, Lush Lip Color Bomb in the shade Milk Chocolate. I've been eyeing their Lush Lip Color Bombs because they have lots of beautiful nude shades. Like a nude for everyone. You can find your nude with Becca. I don't know what this little paper is about. Okay, so it says apply one swipe to lips for a wash of effortless color or build coverage as desired. Thank you. This is what their lipstick packaging looks like. It's like clear with the silver in the middle. I think it looks pretty cool. Why can't I open this? There we go. That's what the shade looks like. As you can see, it's a nude shade. Milk chocolate. Yeah, this is something my mom would like. It's not too pigmented. I'm building it up. It feels super good on the lips. That's why I wanted this. Yes. And this is the look. Just gonna go on with a little bit more mascara, of course, y'all know me. But yeah, I want something super moisturizing, comfortable for the lips that is a nude that I can wear on days when I'm just not feeling lipstick, you know? I just want something easy that I know will look good, that'll match any eye look. Okay, I'm done, 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 done. Just gonna put on my black pants and my olive green sweater and this is the look. I made a video about my hair and how I achieved this twist out. It is really defined. This is day two of me wearing it out. 
So it has a little bit of frizz to it, but it still looks real good. I did not slick my edges. I don't really care about my edges being slick, to be honest. Not with this hairstyle. It's very soft, um, very voluminous. It smells good. Hopefully y'all can see that. Definition though, bruh, it came out real good. I think part of that's because I had my twist in for five days. But yeah, this is the look. One eyeshadow. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video. I need to get dressed and go. I hope you have a wonderful week. And I have so many great videos to upload for you. So again, thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.